Give it up, pause, for Shane Cashman. Oh. What's good? What's good, Bryson? <laughs> All right, look, uh, it's great to be here. But uh, politics, that's the original grift. Uh, this nation was built on the grift. I was reading some history, and uh, Abraham Lincoln, you know, he started a whole civil war uh, to help free the slaves. Uh, I think he only did that hoping that people would forget. He actually wanted to deport all the slaves to a place called Lincolnia. That's a grift, uh, and named after himself. That is an underrated grift. Uh, and more recently, we have uh, our first homosexual president, Barack Obama. Um, he grifted himself out of a non-citizenship into the White House to land a Netflix deal uh, and then got enough money and power and immunity to then murder his chef, which is code word for gay lover, which then uh, means he's gay O.J. Simpson. Um, thank you. So we're here to celebrate these absolutely wonderful people. I love them. And um, yeah, the first, the first uh, nominee, I want to give you just a few observations I've had of these wonderful nominees tonight. We have, uh, the first one's a really big grift. It's so big that, uh, so remarkable. The whole world, all of the world leaders conspired to shut the entire world down. Uh, release a virus because, of course, Donald Trump, his grift was getting too out of control. You have to stop it right away. But he turned that into a grift and he was able to then sell NFTs and sneakers yes. and pieces of his suit. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, so good luck to him in this. You know, he started in reality TV and made it to the White House so even Snooki has a chance. Um, our, next, our next person... This person is a really important one, actually. I think it's also underrated. It's the first grift that happened from beyond the grave. Yeah. This is a, the afterlife grift. Of course, I'm talking about Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> Joe Biden, I think he's been dead since Y2K. I'm, I'm fairly positive of that. But he grifted himself out of the grave into the White House with a brain that works about as well as FDR's legs. So if you watch the State of the Union, you would know that he is just a giant scrotum stretched over a skeleton. The next nominee is about as Jewish as Joe Biden is alive. Uh, this is a very open, honest grift, shameless, fearless grift. Gotta respect it. This is, of course, George Santos. Um, gotta love him. Uh, I, I agree. I, I appreciate his, his honesty, uh, even though... And I also, I was going to say, you know, I think he has a bright future in politics, despite being, like, the personified version of toxoplasmosis. I don't know why I just think of that word and I see his face. Um, so the next one is... Uh, we have Vivek Ramaswamy. Yeah. This guy had a pretty wild grift this year. Uh, it was actually, I'm surprised that it's not more powerful because after all of the manufactured viral moments, after all of the podcasting he did, after all the TikTok dances, my phone, you know, he's, he's still not autocorrected. His, his, my, my phone just can't autocorrect his last name. <laughs> um, so he still has like some more work to do there. Uh, next up, Matt Gates. I've met this guy, nice guy, but there was always something about him that I just couldn't place. It dawned on me. He grifted himself out of Gotham, out of Arkham Asylum. The look in his eyes, the look of someone who's always plotting to destroy Batman. So I just keep an eye on this guy. If you've seen his hair, you know what I'm talking about. It's like he stepped out of a Madame Tussauds wax factory. Something about that guy. I don't know. But good luck to him. Uh, and last but not least, we have uh, Jamal Bowman. Uh, remember that guy? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. I actually liked him uh, in the very beginning because he had a 9-11 conspiracy blog. Yeah. He was like this close to being a hotep. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the weird thing about him is that he knows how to pull a fire alarm, but he still doesn't know how to put a battery in a smoke detector. <laughs> okay. Uh, the nominees... For the best political grift, our political grifty winner of the year is Vivek Ramaswamy.
He worked hard. He did every podcast imaginable. Uh, all I really got to say uh, is I, I think Vivek Ramaswamy is to podcasting what Monica Lewinsky was to Bill Clinton. All right, have a good night. I will withdraw. I pledge to withdraw.